Alright, so we're out in the greenhouse. And, uh, as you can hear, I got a new air pump. Because, well, one of the air pumps did kind of crapped out. We were at the auction and we got the rotary uh, air pump. And, uh, it's a lot noisier, but, uh, it works, which is what we need. So, uh, I figured my son would uh, probably leave me if I stuck this down in uh, his basement because, well, <laughs> it's loud. So, uh, out in the greenhouse, well, may make the fish deaf, but how are you going to tell? So, anyhow, what we do is, in order to encourage rapid breeding, we feed live brine shrimp every day along with flake and uh, everything else too. Now, that means we get lots and lots of babies. You have to feed flake for a com more complete nutritional uh, profile. I got these on the uh, auction. They're, uh, where's the picture? That's what they look like. Oh, there he is. They're a lower sword guppy. And we got upper sword guppies. We got uh, a bunch of equipment, a bunch of plants, stuff like that. Uh, as you can tell, we've been putting uh, stuff in that tank for a while. So, yeah, the water in, water out principle. Uh, I wanted to stop tripping faster. of the water hyacinths under the water. Okay. I more figure out what I got when I have to bag them up. Because, uh, you know, I know what they all are. We're going to have to spray foam the uh, door for the winter. See, we use the outside during the summer, but we don't during the winter, so we just spray foam it shut. These are the upper sword uh, guppies. Yeah, I don't know who brought them, but I'm very happy they did. Up here are Rakovi killifish that I'm eventually going to have to separate the eggs. Oh, I gotta take big uh, clumps of males out of here, take them to the store, because uh, we got tons of babies coming up, and I see the guppy grass situation is uh, alive and well. And we gotta bag up 50 pair of these, because now that we got the air pumps all working again, see, for a couple of weeks we didn't have the secondary pump, and so the main pump was running the big systems, but these here, they can run just with plants. They don't have to have a filter in them. So, uh, that's what we were doing. Let's see, where's the camera? Trying to figure out a way to hold the fish food. Because I got my jar of flake. See, this is the size so that uh, we basically refill it every week. So that way the uh, fish food stays fresh and we clean it and wash it and make it all shiny and new. And then we just, we feed flake according to what's in the tank. See if there's a lot of fish, they get a lot of flake. Like these guys up there, they got a huge amount. A lot of guppy grass good, uh, ready to bag up. Okay. You gotta be a bit of a contortionist, uh, cause, well, I ain't got much space. Cause I put more tanks everywhere I can put a fish tank. or a plant tank or whatever. And then work interferes with work. 
Because, you know, we have to eat. Baby Ashley needs new shoes. Baby Ashley needs a lot of stuff. And she's got to that magical age where they're not giving us a lot of free stuff. Okay, I gotta sort through these because some of these guys, uh, their tail is transparent in the center. Well, they just go into the culls because uh, I just want solid tails. All right, so. Oh, yeah, they're taking off. Those are Russian Daphnia. They're huge. So. All right, so a wee bit of a fish feeding frenzy in the uh, greenhouse. Carl's Aquarium, good morning, yay, bye.